Hey, what's up, guys? Sloth King here. Tonight, we're going to be uh, checking the ignition timing on the Supra. So I picked up this timing light. It's a digital timing light I found on Amazon. I'll put it in the link below. So you're going to need a couple things. One, you're going to need a timing light. Two, you're going to need a jumper wire or a paper clip. And then you're going to need a 14 millimeter wrench. So in order to check the base timing, warm up your car, let it get down to a regular idle. It should idle around 650. And then whenever we check ignition timing, we're going to trip the computer so that way it's in the same mode that you check your engine codes at. And then we're gonna hook up our timing light and then we're gonna adjust the camshaft position sensor until it hits 10 degrees before top dead center. Once it's there, we're gonna lock it down. We're gonna undo the jumper wire and then we're gonna make sure it's around 12 degrees before top dead center. After that, it's all set. So let's jump right into it. It should be pretty easy. All right, we're out here at the Supra. I got the timing light here. So there's a few things to this. So the timing light needs power. You're gonna hook it up to the battery. And then there's this little thing right here. This is a inductor. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it on the number one uh, spark plug wire. And what that will do, it will allow it so it can read uh, whenever that cylinder is firing. And this one, this one's kind of a fancy one. Uh, this will show the RPM that the engine is at, which is great. That way I don't have to go back and forth. And I can see that it's at 650 or around 650. So before I start the car, you're gonna come over here on your diagnostic box. You're gonna see in here, it's gonna say TE1 and E1. It's gonna be this middle one. And then this one right here. So I'm gonna put my jumper wire right in here and in here. And then we're gonna go inside the car. All right, so we're in the car and right before I start it, I'm just gonna put it on the on position. All right, so whenever your engine light is flashing, that's good, that means there's zero code stored. Now, if you needed to, you'd pull the EFI fuse, which I'll show you later. And to clear any codes, uh, you're gonna go inside of this box. You're gonna see that if I fuse, it's gonna be this one right here. You're gonna pull that fuse and keep it out for about 30 seconds to a minute. You're gonna pop it back in and that's gonna clear your engine codes. But we're gonna go ahead and start the car. Okay, that's good. That means it's having a hard time running. So that means the uh, timing is a little bit off. Now let's go do the rest. All right, so with the trip wire on, I'm gonna connect my timing light. It's connected to the number one spark plug wire. I'm gonna come over here to the camshaft position sensor and then loosen up the bolt so that way I can turn it. Okay, I have it just loose enough so that way I can turn it we're gonna make that light hit 10, which I hope you can see it on camera. You can see our tachometer right here. It's around 650, which is great. All right, right there, that's good. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tighten down the bolt. And still verify that it's on 10, which it is. I'm going to undo my jumper wire and it should advance it to about a little over 12. So that's uh, right about 13 or 14. And it's still uh, around, hovering around 650, which is great. It's a little over, which is fine. Looks good in here. Let's turn her off. Turn her back on. Let her idle down. Good, it's dropping on here. Check timing again, and boom, that's where we want it. Now 
There we go, guys. That's all you have to do. But yeah, that's uh, that's it, guys. That's how you uh, adjust ignition timing on your 7M. Now the uh, the idle um, the idle setting for the 7M GE is a little bit different i think it's around like 850 or so she's running pretty good no issues so far and then uh you don't need to buy a, a fancy digital timing light you really you can just get away with the like a 30 dollars one just a basic one it'll do the job correctly so yeah guys if you found this helpful go ahead and leave a like subscribe to see more videos like these see you later so you're gonna need it so all right, so we're in the car, and right before I start it, I'm just going to put it on the on position. Huh.